It took some research, but I finally found my next camera bag, and it's not even a camera bag at all. Today, I wanted to talk about my experience using the Fanny Slings from Moment, what I liked, what I would change, and how they worked as camera bags. For background, I've used small mirrorless cameras on and off for about seven years with a traditional camera bag like this one. And I've always used a fanny pack when I travel, so it made sense to consolidate them into one bag that functioned as both. We'll start with the 2 liter bag that I used with my Sony ZV-E10 and a 12mm lens. This bag looks great and honestly, that was a big reason I wanted a fanny pack. They just look better than camera bags. I like the hits of red on the zippers. The sides have mini compression straps, which are nice when I didn't carry a lot inside. And on this trip, there were days where it rained and I just didn't want to carry my camera. The bottom also has two small buckles that could be compression straps, or just used to hold a mini tripod. Unfortunately, the tripod I use is like really small, so I use this area to hang a hat or sunscreen on a lanyard. The sling has three pockets, and I'll show you what fits inside of each of them. The front pocket is covered by this flap, and it's pretty shallow, but it is microfiber lined and has this Velcro insert that's actually made for Moment's phone lenses, but I don't have those, so I took it out and I put chapstick and keys or my mini tripod in this pocket. The back has a hidden pocket that I put my wallet and passport in because I just don't need to access it very much, and it's safer from pickpockets on this side. And opening up the main pocket, there are two zippers which is much appreciated, and I'd actually call this a feature because not every fanny pack has it. The two zippers come into play based on which shoulder you carry your bag. I'm right-handed so I carry my bag like this, but if the bag only had one zipper down here, then when I opened it, my stuff could fall out. And I know somebody's gonna comment, just carry the bag on the other shoulder, you idiot. Well, I don't want to do that. I mean, my goal in every video is to try and find gear that fits your needs, not to change to fit the gear. And inside we see some interesting tech. More microfiber lined pocket up top for the sunglasses. Two little pockets on the sides that I put my batteries in. and one elastic key clip with a cloth. And surprisingly, it came in handy to clean my glasses or the camera screen. And on this side, the whole panel is microfiber again with some pockets, and the panel is actually padded to give some protection, which is probably the most important part of carrying a camera. Moving away from a traditional camera bag did mean sacrificing some protection, but for me that was okay because I think people in general are usually pretty careful with their camera equipment anyways, so I choose the advantages of a lighter and more versatile sling any day. The padding also made the pack more comfortable to wear as it got a little heavier. But one thing I don't like is this pocket stops here for some reason and I wish it just extended to the bottom. It's actually designed for a phone, but I think it's too small for larger phones like an iPhone Max. And here's how my Sony ZV-E10 fits, with the plate on the bottom. And it basically fits any way with plenty of room. It is Sony's smallest mirrorless body, and I have this Samyang 12mm lens, which is also pretty small. But a lot of people use larger bodies or lenses, and those would still fit on the side. To me, a 2 liter bag is kind of that sweet spot. Big enough to carry most items, but small enough to not look out of place. And another small thing to note is when the pack gets heavy, this flap always pops out and looks kind of weird, but that's minor. Overall, I really liked using this as a camera bag. And next we have the one liter, which I use to carry my even smaller point and shoot Sony ZV-1 or just my phone. And even though it's the smaller version of the two liter, it unfortunately strips out almost all the useful features. The strap and buckle are slimmer compared to the two liter, and there's no hidden pocket on this side. Opening up the main zipper, it's just one opening with a sleeve, and that's where I put my wallet and passport or phone or batteries. Compare this to the Patagonia Black Hole Hip Pack, which has a small second zipper on the front, and I think I prefer the Moment's one large sleeve. The reason being, it's large enough to fit a passport or wallet, and it still hides it from view every time I open the pack. 
Unlike the 2-liter sling, there's no padding, no microfiber, or no internal organization, and no key clip. Like, where did all the features go? But the advantage of this pack is how low profile and light it is. And it is large enough to fit a compact camera and other items. I made do without the organization because it was so small, but missing the padding was huge. And that's what sets the 2 liter bag apart from other competition. And it made it useful for actual camera carry. On my trip, the 1 liter still worked because a compact camera and phone just don't need quite as much protection as a larger camera setup, but the lack of padding is still a bummer. Okay, final thoughts. So overall, I love the 2 liter because of the camera carry technology that set it apart from just about any other similar size fanny pack. And now I just use it as my main camera bag for my mirrorless camera. I also liked the 1 liter for my phone and compact camera, but I think Moment should update the 1 liter to add a lot more features from the 2 liter, like the microfiber lining, key clip, and more padding. So would you guys ever switch to a sling? Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you want a response, and subscribe for more everyday gear reviews. Thanks!